Welcome to our training on culturally respectful listings. When you list products in the Amazon store, it's important to consider not just what you sell, but also how you present it. Customers seek out products that are meaningful to them. Think about it. When you see an advertisement for a product or a package on a store shelf, you're more likely to buy the product if the advertisement or the package shows something important to you. When you sell a product that represents a particular culture, demonstrating that you understand and respect that cultural connection can make your product more appealing to your customers, which can help drive sales. For example, imagine that you're selling a dress in the style of Chinese formal wear. If you use models in your product images using models from that same culture, shows customers that you have a knowledge of your product's origins and appreciate the context in which it was created. This can build customer trust and loyalty, which are good for both your business and for customers who choose to shop in the Amazon store. This isn't just true for clothing. Toys, jewelry, and countless other products can represent cultural traditions. Highlighting cultural connections not only makes your products more appealing to customers from those cultures, but also can help customers who aren't familiar with a particular culture see the product's value. This is another important point. Be aware of how you sell products that are specific to one culture to customers from another culture. Failing to show that you understand or respect customers or their cultures can result in losing their trust and driving them away. It may also violate Amazon's restricted products policies. For example, showing photos of a culturally traditional garment on a non-native figure, using negative depictions such as blackface, or unnaturally sexualizing or exaggerating parts of the garment could upset customers and violate our policies. Finally, when you create a listing, think about not only what you're selling, but also where you're selling it. If you're selling in an international store, be aware that the expectations of your customers might be different from what you're used to. Also, be aware that these expectations may change over time. In the U.S., for example, some professional sports teams used names, images, and slogans that were disrespectful toward Native Americans. Some of those sports teams have since rebranded to be more respectful. If you were reselling products relating to those teams, you should show your respect for Native Americans, these teams, and your customers by avoiding the names, images, or slogans that are no longer used. As another example, a popular drink in Europe used images of an African man on its packaging that drew on negative stereotypes. Customers were rightfully upset by these images. As a result, the company changed the image on its packaging to be more respectful. Negative attention can damage a brand and draw press attention. It can then take a long time to earn back a customer's loyalty once it's been lost. Always remember that your customers are people and that delighting as many of your customers as possible is your highest priority. Taking care to show respect for specific products and different cultures may mean doing a little extra work, but imagine the benefit it can have for customers and your business. This concludes our training on culturally respectful listings. Thank you.